Hey everyone, this is Eric from Bolin Technology. Today we're going to be showing you three different ways to control your PTZ camera. We have our IR remote control, serial connection, and VSCA over IP. Let's get started. First, we're going to establish the IR remote control connection to the camera itself. So on the back of the camera, we have a little selector switch here. Uh, one through three. So this is, if you have multiple cameras, you can select which one to do. Since we're just doing the one camera, we're just gonna have it selected on one. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the IR remote control. You're gonna select one here, and that will give you full control over the camera, like so. Now the next way we wanna show you guys is, if you wanna control the camera with the IR remote control, but through the decoder box, the first thing that you're gonna to have to do is shut off the IR receiver that is on the camera itself. So to do that, you're gonna go ahead and press the menu button that's here. And that's gonna bring up the camera systems menu. You're gonna go down to system and shut the IR receive off. Okay. Once that's off, you can go ahead and exit out of the system menu. And then we're gonna establish the serial connection on the Dante controller, so that way you can use the IR remote with the decoder. We have our RS422 connection port that's here. We're gonna go ahead and select that for the decoder and the Bolin D412 to create a handshake. So select this one here, and then same thing with the D412 to the decoder, like this. And the green check marks will let you know that the connection was successful. Okay, so after you've made the handshake between the Bolin D10H decoder and the Bolin D412 camera, you're gonna go ahead and double click on the Bolin D412 camera to go ahead and pull up the device view. Once that pulls up, you're gonna go ahead and navigate over to the serial configuration tab. Click that, and from here you can go ahead and set your baud rate, the data bits, the amount of bits that are going through, uh, stop bits, and parity. So the baud rate uh, should be set just at a standard of the 9600. Keep the data bits the same at the 8 bits, but from here you can configure everything else. So we're going to go ahead and save that and have it configured how we want it to be. So we're going to exit out. So once everything is set up correctly, you should be able to have control of the camera. The next way we want to show you guys how to control your camera is through our serial connection. We don't need to reset up any of the handshakes that we just did since we already set that up for the IR receiver. But we're going to go ahead and take our network cable that's here and going to connect to one of the back ports, the RS422 ports that are in the back of our keyboard controller that's here. So I'll select one end there and then take the other end of it here. And we have a RS422 port that is on the front of our decoder here. We're gonna go ahead and take the other end of our network cable and connect it to that as well. Once you get a successful connection between uh, the decoder and the camera, you'll go ahead and see an OK that pops up on your keyboard controller here. And that lets you know that you have a successful connection and you can control the camera. You can also open up the menu settings and so forth. Control the colors, white balance, autofocus, all that is still enabled. So the next way we wanna show you guys how to control your PTZ camera is through VSCA over IP. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our serial connection here. And I do wanna note that you do not need the Dante controller to control the camera over VSCA over IP. Uh, you just need to make sure that all the devices are on the Dante network itself in order to control. So I have our network cable here that's already connected to the network switch. We're gonna go ahead and connect the other end of it here into our IP port that we have on the back of our keyboard here. And then we're gonna have our camera selected to VSCA over IP. In a separate video, we're gonna be explaining to you guys how to set up and configure the IP addresses so that way everything is talking to each other on the network itself. But once you set that, set that connection up successfully, you'll get an OK and a plus mark that shows up here to let you know that the connection was successful and you have full control over the camera. 
like so. You can move in, left, right, zoom in, zoom out. You can also use the menu button to access the, system, the camera system settings, the white balance, autofocus, all that is fully available to you. So those are our three different ways to control your PTZ camera. Once again, we have our IR remote control that can establish a local connection with the camera itself or through the decoder box. We have our serial connection and Visca over IP. Please feel free to check out our website for in more in-depth knowledge and our user guides. Thank you for watching.